Hello. First Friday night I've had staying in in a long while. And it's a bit cold in the UK. It's just turned October. October's a good month, I think. A lot of birthdays. My birthday's in it. And also Halloween ends it. And Halloween's really cool, right? But anyway... Um, yeah, I, I decided to watch Friday Night Smackdown tonight via the medium of YouTube, um, and it's, it was the 10th anniversary, and on the wrestling side of it, it wasn't the best show in the world, I don't think, but it did have a good feel to, like, some of the segments are pretty must watch indeed I think like match wise the main event the 8 man tag with DX Undertaker and Cena against Legacy Orton and Punk that was quite good I wish it I wish that Punk got to have a bit more exchanges with like Michael Cena and Triple H but what I did see was quite cool and it was just cool to see Punk have exchanges with them because that's the first time I've seen him have like proper exchanges with them lot anyway. But yeah, that did a good that was a good main event, but the rest of the matches weren't great. It was an entertaining tag match with the Miz and uh Ziggler against Morrison and Kofi. And um Ziggler pinned Morrison in this, so I'm gonna guess that like Morrison's gonna retain on Sunday, and there wasn't much else that happened match wise. There's like Batista and Kane, and um, there's some Divas shitty match, but yeah, the segments oh my god, Iron Sheik makes an appearance, yeah, and like basically they're having this party backstage, and like MVP's got the VIP lounge. And like they're all going in, and Zack Ryder's going, Why aren't you letting me in? Woo woo woo, and stuff. And then Iron Sheik comes in, and Zack Ryder's like, Oh, you let the Iron Sheik in, but not me. And the Iron Sheik is going, Just goes, Ho ho ho, you know it, Jebroni. <laughs> and that was brilliant. But even better, right, was Michael Cole. Michael Cole was getting drunk with Finley obviously acting and he's really harming it up saying vintage hornswoggle and vintage finley and stuff just like harming it up and going oh my you know the usual coalisms michael cole has and it was brilliant and like basically this whole michael cole being drunk thing climaxes with him puking on chris jericho and chris jericho's face it's a thing of wonderment. It's just, ah, oh, it's just one of the best facial expressions I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and Joey Styles is there. He goes, oh my God. And yeah, if you like your cheesy, corny, wrestle crappy kind of segments, this is definitely a good show for that. And also, on this show, um, Notable, uh, Vicky Guerrero comes back and... FCW favourite Eric Escobar um, she's going to manage him and I've seen a match with Eric Escobar and he's definitely had a lot of charisma he seemed a bit like a nub Cena but in this he seems more kind of suave like a Razor Ramon kind of character gangsterish. so it would be interesting to see what happens with him but I'm guessing with Vicky Guerrero managing it's going to be something quite big and special but yeah it's taken him a while to get to the main roster um other no notable things on this one is obviously the rock returning to do a little speech um there's a nice tribute to eddie guerrero which oh, just made me miss him you know i wasn't like the hugest eddie guerrero fan i still really loved his work and was a f I, I was a fan of him, but I just wasn't like a fan to huge lengths that I've seen other people on YouTube. And God, I don't know, that just made me miss him even more. It was quite touching, the little tribute they did for him there. Um, 
the rock speech that was pretty good i thought you no know, he was harming up his hollywood qualities and stuff he said ah oh, cut cut blah blah and he was smiling in between but he still had it and the crowd responded and it's awesome seeing stuff like this every now and again from the rock i think i don't really care if he comes back to be honest i'd like to see him come back he also teased um being a guest host of Raw, and I'd like to see that at some point, definitely, if he'd be up for it, but yeah. Also, there was an Undertaker promo, you know, they have Undertaker promos with him in a dark room in the depths, and he pretty much advocated, like, taking drugs and alcohol, it was weird, he was like saying, CM Punk. After the match at Hell in a Cell, you will be reaching out for the pain pills and blah, blah, blah. And, oh, it was mental. But, yeah, I'd say this 10th anniversary show isn't, isn't an amazing, bombastic 10th anniversary show. But there's definitely some sketches and a few matches that are worth looking at, indeed. Especially if you like your entertaining, cheesy segments and want to see some classic stuff in that way. Jericho's facial expression is brilliant, and this was a good way. Michael Cole was actually entertaining for once, and that is mental. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the 10th anniversary. Let me know what you think down here. Cheers.